ladies of Wufang Singapore. These are the flowers in Wufang Singapore. And why are they into Wushu? Do you see many ladies in Wushu? What got them into Wushu? They are going to tell you now. Because when I was young, mm-hmm. uh, because I was small and quiet, so all my friends like to bully me. So I thought joining Wushu will help me to defend myself Ooh. as well. Yeah. And just now you said that you want to go into a good school. How does Wushu get you to a good school? Because like if I'm good in my Wushu and then the school like I will go to the school and like, audition. Then after that, the school will see whether I'm uh, uh, good enough. I'm good enough to go into the school to uh, compete in Wushu. Nah. What about you? Um, actually, I was in previously in gymnastics and I got quite bored of it because I did it for about ten years. Yeah, then I saw the ad, then um, it kind of sparked my interest, yeah. Do you think gymnastics actually give you a foundation for Wushu? Uh, yeah, it does, because um, you have to be flexible for Wushu as well. Yeah, basically I have an interest in Wushu since young, but yeah. at, during my times, yeah. there wasn't CCA mm. as a Wushu. Yeah. yeah, so I decided to take it up outside. Mm. Yeah, and so um, actually working in a bank is very stressful. Mm. Yeah, so I actually spend my time at Wushu relaxing myself, balancing my work life. So Lee Jin, you were telling me just now that actually Vincent is different when he's teaching and when he's not teaching. How, what is the difference? Okay, basically when at training, he can be very strict, all right? But um, when off trainings, he's actually, he treats us all like friends. He jokes with us as well and chats like a friend to us. Do you like him more on training or off training? Uh, I would say off training, more like a friend. Wushu is something that is like so close contact, right? Will you fall in love with him? No, I don't think so. <laughs> so you girls actually practice along with the boys, right? So do you feel a pressure to be actually practicing the Wushu moves together with the boys? Um, I wouldn't say it's a pressure because um, I would see it as a good motivation for us to move to their levels. Mm-hmm. How about the other girls? A little bit of pressure is good, la. at least we will. I try to strive to our goals and try to be as good as them. Will, will the boys be very tender towards the girls and try to teach you girls? If you don't get the move right? Sometimes they do. Yeah. And what do you think? Do you feel pressurized like practicing together with boys? Um, sometimes because they can jump higher and learn the moves quicker. Yeah, so, um, but they're also quite supportive in a way that uh, if we don't get it, we can ask them for help also. Yeah. How about you? Uh, I will find it challenging so I can motivate, uh, motivate myself to do it better. coach of Wufang Singapore with us, Vincent Ng. He's also the friend, the brother, and the coach of his students. So, Vincent, can you tell us a little bit about your relationship with Wushu? How did your relationship with Wushu start? Or can I say love affair? Uh, it started when I was in primary school. I started when I was in, actually I was in the school athletic teams. Then uh, one of my seniors, uh, who knows me in the athletic team, he, he noticed that I got good jumping power. I got very strong, ex, so-called explosive power. So he was thinking it, it's, uh, it, it would be good for Wushu. So he recommended me into the Wushu team. And uh, from there, I started uh, my Wushu team uh, with my coach uh, in, in, in the community centre. Then during my first competition when I was 13, I was uh, selected into the national team. And uh, gradually, uh, I was also selected to represent Singapore in my first SEA Games when I was uh, 15 years old. Then uh, subsequently, every year I represent Singapore. La. Then my yeah, my first SEA game was when I was seventeen. I remember mm-hmm. uh, that was a that, that was the time where, uh, where, where where I got the most memories uh, because it's home ground. Um, all my friends, my parents, uh, the Singaporeans were there to support me. So yeah, it was stressful, but uh, the feeling was wonderful when you win. Okay. Okay, but do you overexert yourself? Do you feel pressurized? All the stress coming from being champion every year, every time you participate in a competition and representing Singapore. Okay, when was when when I, after I win my first medal, first gold medal? Uh, yes, the subsequent competition I feel a bit pressured because of uh, uh, media 
because of uh, attention, because of uh, the country expectation. So uh, before competition, they normally will come and like they come interview. What's your what's your goal? What's your target? So how many medals you going to win? Yeah, all this uh, But I guess uh, you shouldn't put all this into 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 your mind when 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 it comes to competition. So basically, what I do, I tell myself is like I I I train hard. I do my best. So what kind of mentality do you need when you go into a show? What kind of virtues? Patience. Uh, determination and uh, you must have passion for the sports. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think these are the two most important uh, criteria. Mm-hmm. Uh, of course, uh, if if you if you if you got a natural natural fitness natural advantage, uh, that's a bonus. Uh. Uh, I remember when I was representing the country. Every time I I I I will always always push myself, do my best, uh, be punctual, and don't miss any lessons because 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 it's a responsibility. It's a responsibility because uh, I'm not uh, because to me I'm not repre- only representing myself. I'm representing the country. Uh, so I guess all these values comes from uh, long my my long time my long training in wushu. So what's the proportion of boys and girls in the school? Are there more? I'm sure there are more boys and girls. Seventy thirty. Seventy thirty. How do you attract the girls in? You? No, I don't do that. <laughs> I don't do that. Okay, it's just the sport, lah. The sport attracted the girls. Yeah, the sport attracted the girls. Most of people, uh, I would say, students who come here, they are serious learner. They are people who really want to learn quality wushu. Then they come here. Okay. Yeah, they don't come here and look at me. <laughs> Okay. I don't think so. I don't feel that way. <laughs> okay, so what is the biggest age group here? Biggest? Uh, we ever had students who are who is who are in their forties, fifties, and the oldest one was seventy-five. Do you aim to attract any particular age group? Okay, my target is uh, students, okay. primary and secondary school students, uh, because uh, when they started young, I got I got more time to groom them. Okay. Hopefully, I hope uh, eventually they 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 will be like me. Uh, they got the opportunity, got the chance to represent the country. So you want to cultivate people to yes. represent the country. Yes, this, uh, this is the most important thing when you when you are doing a wushu school, because only passion, only the love for the sports can uh, make the school last. If you if you solely do it, doing it, doing this for business, I don't I don't think it will last very long because it's not it's not an easy business. It's tiring. <laughs> it's tiring because uh, we do we do with students, parents, all these people. They got human. They, they are human. They got. They got emotions, so you don't know what they are thinking. We are not like selling chicken rice or, or selling selling clothes. Yes. Uh, all these are dead, mm-hmm. but you are dealing with a lot of students, parents, and coaches. So uh, you don't know what they are thinking. You must you must be fair constantly. You must you must constantly uh, do some bonding and talk to them. Or else, or some students or parents they might feel neglected. So other than uh, teaching wushu, we we do a lot of gatherings. Like uh, once in a while, we go go, go for barbecue, bonding. Uh, bonding. We love bonding, barbecue. We go for blading. We go for movies or even karaoke. Mm-hmm. And uh, parents, parents who, who who bring their schools here for for a number of years has, has also become my very good friends. And once in a while, we have barbecue session at my home. They I will invite them and they will come. Uh, there was once where I invited seventy people to my house. It was so packed and. They, 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 they party until the next morning <laughs> but I was sleeping <laughs> oh my goodness so you want to go to Vincent Ng's home well just be his student <laughs> come and join Wushu Sing- okay, Singapore <laughs> yeah so do you think Wushu is actually a hit do you think Wushu is hit yeah definitely uh, to me not everybody can take up Wushu uh, you need to have uh, the correct mindset uh, uh, it's not an easy sport it's, it's quite tough it's not like uh it's not like basketball. If I give you a ball, maybe you can bounce. But we should. You need you need time to see see some result. Probably uh, one year, at least one year. If you want to see the results, yeah. students come here for different reasons. Some come for for to keep it and healthy. Uh, some come for competitive reasons, and some come for the Chinese values. There are parents who uh, bring their children here. They 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 want us to speak only Mandarin uh, because yeah. Because like a Mandarin lesson for them too. Because through, no, no, different parents got different. Uh, they they got different things they ask for. Some want us to speak English, some want us to speak Mandarin. So we do a mixture, lah. Because uh, they want them to, they want to inculcate some Chinese value into them. Uh, so wushu is a is a way because it's a sport. You are having fun and at the same time you 
to, to learn Chinese culture. And uh, more importantly, uh, other than teaching Wushu, I, I teach them about uh, values. Uh. Through training, we teach them about values, like how we greet each other, how we respect the elderly, and uh, hum, humble, and your attitude, and your determination. All these, all these are very important when, uh, when they grow up as a person in life. So what kind of modern twist do you try to give to Wushu? What is modern about Wushu? What is modern about Wushu? Uh? Uh, Wushu... Wushu is modern itself because, uh, okay, it's a trend that you will never die off because in, in movies, in wherever, even in overseas, when you talk about Kung Fu, Kung Fu the Westerner is like, they are amazed. And even in movies, in shows, there's always action movies. It will never die off. It's a culture that will keep on and on and going and going. So do you think there's a craze in learning Wushu now? As you say that a lot of people come to learn Wushu because of different reasons. Do you think there's a craze now? Okay, it, there's a craze because of uh, government promotion, uh, because of MOE, because it's the, okay, in, in school it's promoting very well, especially, especially uh, the primary school's composition. It's like uh, one, one, one competition alone, you can see more than 1,000 uh, competitors from different primary schools in Singapore. So uh, I consider it as uh, very outstanding compared to my times. Uh, now the people who learn Wushu in Singapore is getting more and more and it's still growing. Thank you, Vincent, for letting us know a little bit more about Wushu and also about yourself yeah. and Wufang Singapore. Hold my hand. Okay, okay just slightly use your fingers and push it down. <laughs> then they will feel the pain. Oh, no, 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 So she's showing me some self-defense moves now. However, I'm now the attacker. Okay, so I'm just trying to attack her and she's going to do something to me which I hope won't be too painful. Okay, are we ready? Yeah. Ow! <laughs> no, I'm just being exaggerated. <laughs> okay, one more time. So, one more time. Ready? Okay, so I'm gonna. So, you're attacking me now and I'm gonna try and do that and you tell me whether it's correct. Okay? Okay. Okay, like this? Yeah, it's very good. With this hand? So I trigger a hand here and I use like this. Oh, okay. I see. Let's try again. Okay. And then go. Okay.